The old John Deere 8640 saves the day. Yes, indeed, this week's tractor video is super special. We finally, officially started tractor work on the rice farm. We're breaking ground and preparing to plant the 2019 rice crop here in California. Buckle up, start your engines, the sun is shining, we're ripping, we're dozing, we're chilling. Well, the garter snake is chilling. Everyone with two feet and boots is in a frenzy. Farmers are moving tractors across the county, like this dude, driving with a purpose in his John Deere 9330. Or how about our neighbor, throttling along in his Case 420 quad track? That's cool. But what about Uncle Jimmy and the boys? They've got their John Deere tractors out like they're opening a dealership. So cute. Hey, what about my buddy Tom? 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 Do you have a tractor work update for us? Just wanted to show you what I'm up against here this morning. This is a tractor that got stuck in a bunch of flood damaged area on our farm where a creek ran over and deposited a bunch of silt. And it's still a little too wet. And what are you going to do, Tom? So in a few minutes, our big 420 is going to be here. We're gonna see if we can pull it out with a cable. I'll send you the video. We wanna see the tractor pull though. We wanna see the action, okay? So don't forget to film that, please. Very important. Anyway, well, what about us, right? We've been breaking ground all week. Bam, Case 260 tractor pulling a chisel plow. The other Case 260 tractor hooked up to a chisel plow. Big, bad boy Case 340 tractor also hooked up to a chisel plow. But the hero of this video, as I mentioned, is Pops' old 1980 John Deere 8640. Allow me to elaborate. You remember in the past few weeks of rice farming TV, I mentioned that we wish to start tractor work on the 1st of April. Well, we didn't start until middle April due to late spring rains. Now this means the window to plant our rice crop has narrowed. We need to work hard and fast, and we needed to get started in less than ideal ground conditions, meaning there are some areas of our rice fields that are still extremely muddy. But we can't wait any longer. We can't be patient. Now our Case 340 Magnum, our highest horsepower machine, can't get through the muddiest of spots. Not due to a lack of power, but because the wheels just spin and the tractor digs itself down into the mud because the chisel plow is acting like an anchor, sinking them both. Let me see if I can fly over some areas of the field to show you some spots where we were getting stuck and had to pull out. Muddy music, please. See, and if the Case 340 tractor couldn't make it through, then the Case 260 tractors wouldn't either. So which tractor could get the work done? The John Deere 7520? Nope, that's still parked. Yeah, you know it. The John Deere 8640. And it's not due to the horsepower, it's actually 65 horsepower less than the Case 340. But it gets through the mud because of its four huge tractor tires. The thing just floats, man. I mean, this area of the field isn't muddy, but just look at this grisly old green beast in action. Tractor music, please. That's right, the John Deere 8640 has been doing the dirty, muddy work while the case tractors have been blowing through just fine in the drier areas. It's been a whirlwind of tractor work. We've got a new tote of deaf fluid that's arrived. Pops is manning the forklift. Yours truly is on vacation at Fuel Island 
filling fuel wagons with diesel. We're just trying to keep these tractors running. And midweek, we've made great progress. Pops determines that we're ready to run a second pass through the fields with the chisel plow. Remember back to episode 27 titled, How Rice is Planted Breaking Ground? Well, I gave an illustrated overview of the groundwork required to put in a new rice crop. We chisel once diagonally, and again a second time, crisscrossing the previous path, ensuring we're breaking new ground. And that's our status, the second pass with the chisel. And the chisel shanks are 12 inches apart and digging into the soil about seven to eight inches deep. Every square inch of the field will meet the chisel plow. Pops is making an adjustment on the 8640 pole chisel, preventing it from digging too deep as we make a second pass. The pole chisel is ran by a hydraulic ram which raises and lowers it. Adding a stop to the ram prevents it from lowering too far, prevents it from digging too deep. Pops is happy, the tractor operator is happy, I'm happy, Lizard is happy. But do you want to know how the soil feels? I'll show you. Soil music, please. What a week it's been for the soil on our rice farm. It's dried down and broken up. What a week it's been for those of us folks in the tractors and on the ground. We're going hard, kids, and we'll go hard until our last field is seeded with rice. Well, well then we'll go hard uh, when nurturing the rice. And actually, then we'll go hard to harvest the rice. But hey, and then we'll hit the beach. Wow, just got ahead of myself. Hey, let's check back in with Tom. Tom? Tom, how's the situation? Well, guess what, Matthew Slager? I got so excited pulling it out, I forgot to video it. But Tom, we wanted to see some action. What happened? There's the big boy that pulled us out. And as you can see, tractor's out. Oh, Tom. I'm sorry, I know you wanted some action. I apologize. I got too excited. That's okay. A bit disappointing. That was rice farmer uh, Tom Knowles reporting from out west. Was that a good news anchor voice? Tom Knowles reporting for Rice Farming TV. Now back to the studio to Matthew. All right, guys, sun is coming down here in the studio. We've got a ton of tractor work still ahead of us. We've got the full crop year ahead of us. So subscribe to stay updated. Check out episode 27, How Rice is Planted in California Breaking Ground. Link is down in the description, and it's for an overview of the farm work we're doing out here. Other than that, thank you for the great positive energy and the support that you have given me that has pushed me to, with absolute pleasure and fun, produce 100 episodes of Rice Farming TV. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. I give you a thumbs up. I hope you stay with me, and I'm looking to spending the next 100 episodes with you. That's Matthew Slager, signing off for Rice Farming TV. And thanks to the 8640. Got us through the muddy spots. actually had that thing listed for sale. Thank goodness we didn't sell it. 
Take care, guys. Bye-bye.